Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can mine Ironfish. Now Ironfish is a new coin, not that new. Uh, it has been out for testing since, la uh, since last year. But uh, as of recently and I think as of today's date it's been launched out on mainnet. Uh, the coin is very, very fresh, uh, but it said that uh, this is the next big thing after Caspa. And as a miner, especially a GPU miner, we all know that Caspa has some huge potential, uh, especially up uh, until the next bull run. So if this is the next big thing, why not look into it? Uh, why don't see how we can mine it? And the other interesting thing is that huge miners like Rabin Miner and uh, and Son of Attack have already spoken very positive about Ironfish. So, as I said in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can mine Ironfish. So stick with me, and we are going to jump right into how we mine Ironfish. Now, the first thing you want to do is to when you are inside Ironfish.network webpage. Uh, you go to the get started the tab click there and here you have four different options the first thing we're going to go to is uh, install ironfish click on this link we need to download a node.js application click on that link and uh, uh, since you're on windows we need a win we're going to do this through the windows installer application so we hit since we are not on 32 bit version as long as you have above uh, the 8 gigabytes of ram and uh, above uh, windows 8 i think or maybe it's earlier above windows 7 i don't remember uh, you will most likely have a 64 bit operation system so i'm going to click 64 bit and it will now automatically download the node.js application installer we open the file and when you open the file you get this window here we click next accept the terms uh, you can change this if you want to install the application in another uh, location but as of me uh, I'm just going to hit next here everything is set and um, just to be sure I want the entire future future to be installed on my local hard drive the same for the uh, end section here and I'm going to hit next and I also want uh, it to automatically install necessary tools so I'm going to hit next and then hit install now you can see the, the progress here on this bar over here and uh, when it's finished i will come back to you now when you finish installing the node application from windows installer uh, you go to the windows tab you search for um, you search for uh, windows powershell and in the windows powershell window you have to run a command uh, called uh, npm uh, space install uh, space dash g space ironfish after that, uh, when you run that command in Windows PowerShell, uh, Windows PowerShell should start a process like the, the one you see here. Uh, I have just done it. Mine is finished. And as you can see in the, in the top, uh, in the bottom here, it says that the recent packages changes indicate a reboot is necessary. Please reboot at your earliest con convenience. Type enter to exit. So we're going to type enter. To exit now I'm going to reboot my system and uh, uh, and uh, uh, going over to the next step and uh, so just keep with me I'll be right back now we have booted up the system so let's try to run uh, ironfish uh, I have opened up the Windows PowerShell window I just uh, type in ironfish here and it should uh, give us the command list and this is what I got uh, an error on on my test bench so i'm going to find i don't didn't don't remember the commands uh, 
to run this as in uh, administrator privileges but i'm going to find it and come back to you because i also think you will get this problem uh, or this error message when you start just try to type in ironfish as i did so i'm just going to find it i will be right back okay after some googling i found the <coughs> uh, the right command because I tried to start it with right clicking uh, and start a run as administrator, but it didn't work. As you can see here, I still got the error message. <coughs> so, but what you need to do is to use this command if you're also getting this message after run uh, after you have run the Windows PowerShell as an ad administrator. So, uh, you just set uh, this command here: set uh, dash ex execution policy space unrestricted. And after that, you can type in Ironfish, and then you get this list here, as the same as you can see here. So, for the next, we are going to uh, uh, follow the next step, as, uh, as, as it said here. So, you click on that link, and it says Ironfish start. So, you go to run that command. And we get the same window, and now you probably get a message like this. So you just active, accept, uh, accept it through the firewall, and you will see that uh, the server will connect to the Ironfish network. Okay, it's actually syncing, so we have to wait before we continue. I thought maybe it was finished and we have to run that command, but now we just have to wait until uh, the node has finished. Uh, syncing with the network so when that's finished i will come back to you okay guys <clears throat> i actually moved back to my test bench the ordinary command that lets you sync uh, the entire blockchain uh, could take some huge amount of time after 48 hours i had just synced around 18,000 blocks out of around 85,000 blocks so instead I closed everything and I'm uh, I closed everything on my workstation and I moved over to the test station and on my test station I ran the command ironfish chain <coughs> semicolon download and as you can see here uh, th these are just snapshots uh, of uh, the process but as you can see here, when I ran that command, uh, after it had uh, finished uh, downloading a snapshot of the blockchain, I could uh, now run uh, the miner and the node on the same computer. So what I did next is that uh, I opened a new PowerShell window and I ran the command ironfish miner starts. Now, now, be be sure to get the S within the miner uh, word because if you just write ironfish miner semicolon start, nothing will happen. You get an error message. So remember, ironfish miners semicolon start. And after uh, after you had connected to the node, and you get the message that it's successfully connected to the node, you will get the hash rate. And as you can see here, it's around twenty seven mega hash per second now if you want to check your wallet your balance your wallet address and or transfer funds etc you just run a new powershell window you go in the windows tab you write uh, windows powershell and uh, when you open powershell you will get a blue screen like this and uh, you run the command ironfish wallet when you run the ironfish wallet command you will get a listing uh, as you see here of this uh, screenshot now here you have uh, different uh, options you can run ironfish wallet accounts wallet address wallet assets wallet balance wallet balances wallet, wallet create wallet delete export import mint doesn't matter uh, you can even get an overview of all of your transactions and etc. So uh, this is how, when you finish syncing your node or you finish syncing with uh, the snapshot uh, uh, setting, 
you can start mining iron fish and uh when you uh, iron fish is a gpu mineable coin so uh you won't find uh anything related to iron fish uh on pages like mining pool stats to stream it's not listed in any coin listing pages as uh, coin market cap or or coin gecko but uh, if you want some information about ironfish you can go into their web page ironfish.network now as the time of making this video there have been some changes uh, ironfish uh, was uh, was supposed the mainnet was supposed to be launched on march 14th but it, it has now been delayed to april 20th by the ironfish team so, uh, and the other thing is that everything that you mine on the testnet pool, all coins will not be valid on the mainnet, and all those coins will be destroyed. All data, balances, etc. will be reset when the mainnet is active. So, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how you also could mine Ironfish uh, with SRB miner on HiveOS. The steps you see now earlier on this video is how you can mine uh, ironfish on your local computer Windows setup with a node so for now I'm going to uh, first we need a, a pool to mine to in, and in this video we're not going to use our local node we're going to uh, use uh, hero miners.com test pool and uh, we're going to select the nearest pool to us put this in, put this in iOS and uh, I'm going to show you how you set up a miner in iOS. Now the first thing we want to do is to head over to iOS, and here uh, we need to create a wallet. I'm not sure if Ironfish is here. We can try. Iron. Yes, there it is. Oops. We select that ticker and the wallet address. Now I copied this address from. Uh, the, the node setup that you saw earlier in this video and this is how ironfish do not have uh, uh, their own wallet uh, in the other than the, the wallet that you run through PowerShell so the address you are going to need is the address that you get from your PowerShell setup now I'm just going to call this um, ironfish node since that's the wallet and I hit create and now I have my wallet created here. Then I'm going to go into flight sheet. And now we are going to create our own uh, flight sheet that we can deploy to a, a rig that we have set up for mining. Now you want to add flight sheet. You find Ironfish. You select your wallet. Now you select the pool. Now Ironfish is a new coin. So there's not a lot of pools out there supporting it, but Hero Miners are one of them. So you select Hero Miners, you select the pool server closest to you. For me, it will be Germany. Then you hit apply, and the only miner that support Ironfish at the moment is the SRB miner, the multi miner. You select the SRB miner. All configuration should already be set, and this is the important thing that you want to disable the CPU. Apply changes, create flight sheet. Now we have created the flight sheet. Now if you have a farm that is ready and set up, you can now launch <coughs> Ironfish to this farm. I am going to actually, um, uh, for this video, uh, we will try test to mine Ironfish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head down to my basement. I'm going to connect one of my rigs to the community farm and we can try to mine it. So just... Stay with me, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I have now connected a farm, not a farm, but a rig to my, to my farm. And uh, as of course this has no flight sheet because this has never been run on this HiveOS setup before. Now we're going into flight sheet. We already created the Ironfish flight sheet uh, last clip. So I'm just going to deploy it and we're going to wait and see if it starts mining. Okay guys, as you can see, it has started mining. Now I use, I have uh, six RX 470 cards uh, 
uh, it's or actually the Reb Tech cards, uh, the Reb Tech Miner cards. So these six are now running on Ironfish, uh, Blake Tree algorithm, and you can see we are getting around four four point three giga hash. Now I will let this run for twenty four hours to see how much uh, uh, how much uh, coins uh, it will be. Mining and uh, yes, that's it, guys. Uh, this is how you can set up Ironfish on. Uh, you see now it's actually up in 5.8 gigahertz. This is how you can set up Ironfish both on your Windows with your own local node or through Hive OS, and you can mine it. Now, keep in mind, as it said here in Hero Miners webpage, this is a testnet pool. Testnet coins will not be valid on the mainnet. All coins will be destroyed. The mainnet, what, which was planned to be activated on March 14, was de delayed to April 20th by the Ironfish team. So I won't be running my, uh, my, my miners for uh, more than 24 hours. It's just to see how much uh, coins I can get for 24 hours. But in any way... I will shut it down after 24 hours and I will wait until uh, the mainnet is launched because it's no point for me to mine on testnet if I can't be using those coin on the mainnet or or uh, or uh, uh, try make some transaction with them uh, as long as they will be destroyed so there's no point in me in using my power in the long run and then I have to start all over again when mainnet is, is launched. So, but for this video and for this, uh, for my community and uh, the view, uh, you viewers, uh, I will mine it for 24 hours. I post it in my blog, uh, what the result is when it's, when it's finished mining. And hopefully uh, on April 20th, I, I could start mining uh, Ironfish uh, for real. So, if you have any questions about the Ironfish, uh, you, or uh, you have you want to read more you just go into ironfish.network webpage here you have everything the white papers and and uh, I think you they also have a discord or something yes here they have on the links on the bottom of the page here you can go to Twitter discord reddit they have telegram so if you're interested I I follow uh, a lot of different uh, projects on Discord, and if I have any questions, I just ask on the Discord. That's a nice way of you to get to know uh, more things about the project through Discord, because normally they have a good community, and there are always someone there who can answer your question. So, now, if you like this video, Please uh, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. If you have any comments, please comment down below. Don't forget to hit also hit that uh, thumbs up uh, button. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time. Have a nice day.